Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Training Tutorials. And today's tutorial, we will be going over how to back up our hard drive, how to back up data, any files, documents we have using an external hard drive. Um, so let's begin. Before I uh, go into the details of how to do the backup, we want to make sure that you all have the necessary tools to even do the backup. So the first thing you want to do is pick up an external hard drive. Uh, any electronic store, electronic store you go to will have them. Um, what you want to ask for is tell them, hey, I need an external hard drive. Um, space is going to be 500 gigabytes to one terabyte or more. I think 500 gigabytes is more than enough space than you need, depending on how much data and media you have. But to be on the safe side, they're so cheap nowadays, you can pick up a one terabyte for about, oh, geez, I've seen them as cheap as $79. So you want to go to the electronic store, tell them, hey, I need an external hard drive. This is what I want to spend. This is what I need, one terabyte. Um, once you actually have the, the hard drive, um, let's unbox it, take it out of the box. It's going to come with a, the actual unit itself, the hard drive and encased in a shell. You'll have an AC adapter that's going to provide the power for it. And uh, you'll have a USB drive. Uh, I'm sorry, a USB cable. Now what you want to do is <clears throat> plug in the AC adapter to the back of the hard drive and uh, plug it into any wall outlet or inlet, whatever. Outlet, I'm sorry. Um, the next thing you want to do is take the USB cable, plug it into the back of the hard drive, then plug it into your computer. Now, every new computer system nowadays, um, they'll just automatically recognize the drivers for it, and you should get a pop-up message saying, you know, a hard drive found or whatever. But if you don't get that message, um, probably want to go into our troubleshooting videos and see what's going on. But assume everything goes right for you, and you're not of the one you know of the 10 to 20 percent that ex you know experience problems uh, what you want to do once you've plugged it all in and you know it's on is go to my computer and yours should show up as a it should say external hard drive or my backup or something depending on the one you purchased but uh, your C drive is your hard disk your D drive is any uh, disk drives that you have plugged into your computer and in most cases anything after that you know E F G is gonna be the actual external hard drive you plugged in. So in my case, it's the F drive. Um, the reason I know it's the F drive is I've actually renamed my drive so I can, you know, better, I can recognize it a lot easier. And the way you do that is you just right click on the drive and go to rename. Simple as that. So if you want to rename yours to my backup, data drive, whatever, I'll leave that up to you. Now that we've plugged in our hard drive, we've renamed our hard drive, let's go ahead and go into it. The first thing I do is I set up for organizational purposes. I create a new folder, and how I do that is just go right click anywhere that's empty space, go to new, and go to folder. And I'm going to name this one My Backup. Immediately go in there. And here it is our directory, our target directory is ready and set. Now we can get our source and just click and drag it in here. So what I want to back up is just a few files. So say it's in my documents. Um, you want to back up a couple pictures or a uh, you know entire folder of, of information of data that you have stored in your computer, and it's important to you. You feel it should be on an external hard drive. Um, you just really it's as simple as clicking, press and hold, uh, left click, and just drag it right over. So um, in this case, if I wanted to back up my downloads folder. Just click and drag it right in here. And there you'll see it making a copy of itself in the external hard drive. Now it really is as simple as that. I mean you can click and drag all day or there's an easier way of doing this. Now the easier way is going into my computer, go into your C drive, now documents and settings, and you want to select the user that you're currently logged into, the, current, the user you want to back up. So the way you check which user you're on is just go to start and you can see the username right here. So mine is Eric. So I'll just double click on Eric. And here I can see my favorites, everything that sits on my desktop, everything that's in my documents and so forth. Um, I don't want to just, don't want to copy everything over because I'm probably going to get a couple errors from application data or something. So what I want to back up is say I want to back up all my favorites. Um, I would just either click and drag my favorites in there. If I wanted to select multiple folders, just hold control on your keyboard hit favorites, desktop, 
my documents. Now you can either left click and drag them in here, you can right click and hit copy, then paste them in here, or you can just right click, hold, drag them in here, and hit copy here. However you do it is up to you, but once you've already backed up your data, that is it. It's as simple as that. So you can close everything down. You can verify that you're in your backup. You're in that folder you created. Here's the F drive, my backup, my data is here. I am set. Now you can close everything down and it's really up to you whether you want to keep this external hard drive plugged in or not, depending on how often you plan on backing up. Um, it's not bad to leave it plugged in, but it's also not safe because they can short out if there's a surge or so forth. So really I leave it up to the end user's discretion whether they want to keep it in plugged in or not, depending on how much you really want to back up. In this case, um, I would say for a residential client or a residential use, you want to have something that maybe do a backup every couple days or so, maybe once a week. You can set your own schedule. Um, if you're in an enterprise environment for a business, you're probably going to have something a little more complicated where you either have a RAID set up or an automated backup system going. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Just pick up that external hard drive, plug it in, click and drag files over, and you're done. Um, again, this is a tutorial by IT Conflict. My name is Eric. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave uh, any information in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.